let us summarize the stress is restoring force per unit area and strain is the fractional change in dimension it can be delta l by l it can be delta v by v so there are three type of stresses tensile strength which is longitudinal stress of course which is associated with the stretching or you can you are compressing compression and stretching we have shearing stress and hydraulic stress for uh, very small deformations the stress is directly proportional to the strain the stress is directly proportional to the strain of many materials this is known as hooke's law the constant of proportionality this proportionality can be changed and it, we can put a constant here which is the modulus of elasticity so three elastic moduli we have young modulus shear modulus and bulk modulus these they describe the elastic behavior of object as they are res responding to the deformation force which are acting on them and the solids which belong to a category or a class called elastomers they do not obey hooke's law then when an object is under say some tension or a compression the hooke's law can take form like this we see this is very important for solving the problems f by a is equal to y delta l by l this essentially has come from y y is f by a by delta l by l this delta l by l is the tensile or compressive strength so you can say it as a you can say it as a strain and f by a the f is of course the force uh, or magnitude of the force applied causing the strain a is the cross sectional area over which this force is applied which is which has to be perpendicular to a and y is the young modulus of the object so the stress this is the stress so you can write it as stress so this is stress by strain this is very important you just have to remember that y is stress by strain other things will be solved a pair of forces when applied parallel to upper and lower faces the solid deforms so that the upper faces move sideways with respect to the lower the horizontal displacement delta l of the upper face is perpendicular to the vertical height l and this type of deformation is called shear means a body goes like this this is a shear example and corresponding stress is known as shearing stress so this type of stress is possible only in solids in this kind of deformation the hooke's law take a form but here we have to have a this g, y is replaced by g and g is shear modulus the things remain same this is force this is area this is change delta l displacement of one object uh, end of the object in the direction of the force being applied original length is this when an object undergoes the hydraulic compression due to stress exerted by the surrounding fluid surrounding fluid will also exert some pressure so hooke's law takes form like this p is the pressure which is the hydraulic stress which is given by capital b delta v by v this p is the hydraulic stress on the object due to fluid delta v by v is the volume strain and this is the uh, fractional change in the object volume due to the pressure and this b is the bulk modulus of the object